Pope Francis is a new kind of leader, a humble priest who reaches out to immigrants, gays, and Muslims. And now the same person who helped elect President Trump is going after the Pope. The administrative apparatus of the church has to be changed. That's President Trump's former campaign chairman, Steve Bannon, now on a new crusade. Are you feeling confident that after you help bring pretty significant political change to the United States, that you can also impact change here? Uh, absolutely, no doubt. Bannon's goal is to save the Catholic Church from the Pope, who he says is failing to deal with decades of sexual abuse by priests. My problem with the Pope today is about this crisis on pedophilia, that they are not treating this as a crisis. But critics say Bannon, a Catholic, is using the sex abuse scandal to attack a pope he and a movement around him consider too liberal. If you're against migrants and refugees and you don't think they have any rights in the world, then someone who is reaching out to them, that's going to upset you. We drove outside Rome, where Bannon is restoring this grand monastery. Bannon plans to build an apartment for himself here and live here part of the year in this monastery of Bannonism. He says this will be a school to teach Judeo-Christian values to a new generation of nationalist populace. And Bannon says the Pope is the most powerful opponent to his plans. He's constantly coming back and putting all the faults in the world on this populist nationalist movement. Well, maybe he's right. Maybe he's these right-wing movements are, are a problem. Absolutely nonsense. <laughs> Bannon's ambitions go far beyond the U.S. There are people who are going to see this and think, oh no, Steve Bannon, the guy who helped put Trump in the White House, now has his sights set on the Vatican. Why would they Will think, this why, guy just why, stop? Why, why, because why would they because think it's that? true. Because that's what you're doing. You're trying to bring change to this I, institution. I, I, this, this institution needs change. This institution is in decline. I think people will say that. So this is just the beginning. Oh, this is the very beginning. Very beginning. This is going to take years. Richard Engel, NBC News, Rome. And you can see more of Richard's reporting when On Assignment with Richard Engel airs Sunday at 9 Eastern on MSNBC.